Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today's a beautiful Monday. This is the last week before Thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. We're almost there for some time off. Of course, just like as usual, you're going to make sure you know today we're covering causation. You make sure you follow the notes. The notes are going to be very short today. It's basically just me going over specific problems. You can do the choice board if you would like. Remember, there's Kahoot quizzes and get more math. And make sure this is the grade, the causation mini quiz. All right. Let's go over what we're doing, which is right here. Boom. So, what is causation? Well, causation, ladies and gentlemen, is when the situation causes the other. So we're going to go through a couple of examples, and I'm going to be able to highlight and show you, hey, this stuff is causing the other thing to happen, okay? So you got to identify the two things that are happening, determine if it's related, and if the other thing caused it. Check it out. Number one, the number of cold, snowy days and the amount of hot chocolate sold at a ski resort. Well, they're talking about cold, snowy days. And hot chocolate. Well, obviously, if it's cold, most of us would like to enjoy a nice cup of hot chocolate. So we can say that that is causing or causation of one another. Pretty interesting. Next one. The number of miles driven. So we're driving. And the amount of gas used. Well, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm driving... I'm wasting gas. So, yes, that is another example of causation. So, something caused the other. Next one. The number of additional calories consumed. So, this is if you're eating. And the amount of weight gained. So, if I'm eating and not working out, boom, I'm gaining weight. So, yes, it's another causation. <clears throat> Number four, the age of a child, so how old you are, and the shoe size. That is not a causation because everyone has different shoe sizes. I'm a size 11, <clears throat> but my best friend, same age, he could be a size 8. And so on or whatever. So not everyone has the same shoe size. And that's not dependent off of age. So that will be not a causation. Let's keep going. Number five. All right. The amount of cars a salesperson sells. So we're selling cars. And how much money he makes. Well, yeah. Yeah. He needs to sell cars to make money, so this is a causation. Next one. The number of cars traveling and the number of accidents reported. Is that a causation? I don't think so because we can't predict, oh, because there's a little bit more cars traveling, there's more accidents. That's not a situation where we can predict that or be very accurate with what exactly is happening. So we're going to say that's a not a causation. All right. The number of homework assignments turned in and how well a student does in class. Well, that can be a causation. But of course, we could get into more detail saying it could be because of the tests and so on and so forth. But yes, Doing your work does determine how you do in class. So we can say this is a causation. And the last one, the annual salary, which is how much money you make, and the blood pressure of men ages 20 to 60. Well, for some people, that would be a causation, but in this case, it's not because obviously blood pressure is having to do with your your overall health and all that good stuff. So let's say this is not a causation. That's some pretty funny stuff. Causation. 
But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, today was not really a teaching moment. Today was basically we're identifying two situations and you yourself have to determine if one situation caused another. Another example can be, hey, um, if I throw a football, the receiver catches it, that's a causation because throwing the football is determined to cause the receiver to catch that. Um, let's see another one. There's a bunch, ladies and gentlemen. I would recommend you just search it up, type in causation, and hopefully they give you some good examples. But that's all I have for today. Make sure you take care of that mini quiz. I'll be uploading grades sometime this week. Today, today. This is a week of grades for their final. You already have two test grades. Make sure you do your test, all your mini quizzes, and you'll be good to go. You'll have a great day.